a brief explanation of what's going on at 60 Ferry Canic Road because it seems to be quite uh, not clear. So, this all this is the existing building, then within the property that this all area here, all area that this one I called A, then I called this area B, and then I called this area C. All of it, I just call it because everything, but this, this, there's a step there in the existing building. This is the kitchen. This is the, 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 the bathroom. All of this is empty. There's nothing built on. So what we are proposing using permitted development is using the whole area here. There's a wall. If you look, if you go inside to see a wall, the council has been there a number of times. Also from the planning department. Now, from the back end, from the, the boundary to here is, what, 3.7 from that boundary to this boundary is 4.6. Now, what we're proposing to do is put an outbuilding so there's not going to be attached to the existing building here of the entire span, 3.7, obviously minus something. So it's not going to be 100% 3.7. We're going to leave one centimeter so it's not attached to the, the existing building. So it's an outbuilding. And here... From here, we're going to use this existing development because the, from the back of the building, the existing building as existed in 1948, here is less than three meters. And we have measured this. We measured this. This is 18 square meters. This is 17 square meters. So we can actually put for permitted development, as far as my understanding goes, Almost the full area, minus one square meter. So we're not covering, we're not exceeding 50% of the whole area because for, for permitted development, when we do an extension that way, using, say, for example, what we're proposing a, uh, uh, what do you call it? It's not a shed, a uh, conservatory. Then it's classed as an extension. This is the back of the building. Also, this is an existing building. So... This is, as far as we can tell, this is the back of the building. So we're actually extending out. So this is, again, the whole existing building to make sure it's quite clear. Put it here, a line there. So this is communal. It's a shared passageway. So this is the entire building. So from the back of the building is 5 point, the tops is 5.6 meters. So as far as we can tell, we can extend that way 5.6 uh, no, no problem, five, because it's less than three meters. So we should not have any problem as far as permitted development. We're just going to leave one square meter or just slightly more to make sure that we're not getting into the planning permission remit. And off we go. So because then we have read a number of times the, the permitted developments, right? When we calculate the area, when you put up an outbuilding under permitted development here, that's not affecting the allowable total area. So, because from the far back of the existing building, we are extending five point, maximum 5.56 meters. It's less than three meters. We should be okay. This is my interpretation of it. If I've got something wrong, please let me know. So once again, what is not built on is this area. This area. <laughs> And all this is 63 Canic Road. All this still belongs to 63 Canic Road. This is 61. So Canic Road. This is, I just got it. Canic Road. Canic Road. This is Canic Road. This is Canic Road. Canwick Road. So I got it wrong. Canic Road. Canic Road. Okay. Uh, so please let me know. Thank you.